give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down and shaken together and running over shall man give into your bosom for with the same measure that he meet with all it shall be measured to you again so it's a practice giving is a practice so once you have practice it spirit of god can locate you. spirit of god can locate you. and there is nothing better for god to locate you praise the lord the best thing to be located by god praise the lord you do him jesus is so highly exalted because he gave himself so practice giving is a give and it shall be given unto you but god cannot locate somebody who is not a giver praise the lord hallelujah can you shout amen hallelujah father in the name of jesus we worship you we honor you we exalt you there's none like you lord you are glorious you are kind you are powerful you are wise thank you father for your love thank you for the thought you have given to us in the name of jesus thank you for your precious holy spirit to live with us thank you father thank you lord for your written word to teach us to guide us to instruct us to lift us thank you father thank you for this time in your presence to be taught by your spirit and we receive this word with joy with faith and with meekness thank you father and in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah you may be seated tell you never practice the presence of god second is practice eternal life first john chapter 5 verse 11 and this is the record this is the testimony can i see it in iv please i said this is the record this is the testimony and this is the testimony god has given us eternal life so what we are reading is a testimony say we are reading a testimony is like you no know, somebody comes and say oh we have a testimony and then somebody gives testimony so we are reading testimony and that testimony is given by god himself praise the lord a man testimony can be big think this is god's testimony he say and this is the testimony god has given us eternal life so god has given us not going to give us it is at work in you now practice it don't say oh i have cancer i have uh, this i have this no you have eternal life praise the lord practice it be conscious of it and this life is in his son next whosoever has the son has life whosoever does not have the son of god does not have life if you have the son of god jesus christ you have it praise the lord say i have eternal life eternal life is at work in me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet you have to practice it don't practice that you are sick no no practice eternal life praise the lord remember it most of the problem people are facing today because they don't practice it they thought if it will work it will work it doesn't happen that way you have to practice it just because you are given a pen does not mean pen will write by itself you have to practice it just because somebody gave you a bicycle does not mean one day you will sit and start running i got it i was very happy when i was in 5th standard my father said you will come first i will give you a bicycle i was so excited i came first i ran to my father's shop my father said wow you are first class he gave me the one of the uh, employee he said okay go to that shop get him a bicycle so from from call school i went to my father's shop my father's shop i went to buy bicycle after bicycle was fixed i came to know i don't know how to ride it and it was in my house for 2 years 2 years i'm telling you. so somebody can have eternal life in him for 2 years and not using it praise the lord you can ask my family my bicycle was there in my house for 2 years i only learned in 8th standard so just a story praise the lord so what practice what practice eternal life you have eternal life in you if you don't practice it will be there and not benefiting you praise the lord so practice eternal life third is practice keeping your mind on good things so important 
Let's go to Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. He said, finally brethren. He said, finally brethren. The guy has come to a conclusion. Praise the Lord. Am I right? Finally brethren. Look at the starting. He said, finally brethren. Whatsoever things are true. Whatsoever things are honest. Whatsoever things are just. Whatsoever things are pure. Whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise. Think on these things. Praise the Lord. He's saying you have to train your mind to think on good things. Don't say you don't have this. You have something. Thank God Moses was good enough. When God asked Moses what you have, he said a rod. He could have said nothing. Praise the Lord. Some people have 100 rupees. You say what you have? Nothing. You have 100 rupees. Moses was smart enough. Praise the Lord. And God asked him what you have? He said a rod. And that rod became the rod of God. Praise the Lord. Do you know that 100 rupees can become the 100 rupees of God? Praise the Lord. And your whole life can be turned around with those that hundred rupees. So he's saying, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely or of good report, virtue, praise, think on these things. So you have to control your mind. Okay, look at my right. Can you see it? Can you see my right hand? Okay, look at the left. Can you see it? The very same way you can train your mind to look at the right or wrong. The way your eyes are trained. When I say look at my left, you look. I say look at my right, you look. The very same way your eyes, mind can be trained to look. You can decide what you want to look at. So don't think, oh, uh, uh, devil is giving me wrong thoughts. But you can choose to look at the right thoughts. So don't give devil credit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, devil, 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 as if devil... This kind of credit review, he must be thinking, did I really do that? He must be wondering. Praise the Lord. So, practice. It's a practice. When wrong thoughts are coming, you say, no, 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 no. When you hear a story about somebody or something, you have to practice. Somebody told me about somebody. He said, the guy stole. I said, did you see it? He said, no. He said, how did you come to know? He said, I just know. I said, I don't believe you. Well, I don't have any proof. How can I point him or her to be a thief if your money was stolen how can we now what if a rat came and took your money it is possible it is possible what if demons took your money it is possible I know what I am talking angels can give you money demons can take your money I know what I am talking praise the Lord that's why you must tithe praise the Lord if you don't die, devil can take your money from house and you must be thinking your son stole it. I know what I'm talking. I know what I'm talking. Praise the Lord. So somebody can say, but he was the only one in that room. But that does not prove anything. Praise the Lord. Nobody saw him committing the crime. So many people came before him. So many people came after him. So you have to choose. You can decide what you want to look at. Praise the Lord. Then somebody said, Oh, they were having an affair. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Say, I saw the photos even. I said, but photos can be photographed. Why should I believe you? I don't want to believe. Praise the Lord. I can look at the right thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So practice keeping your mind on good things. You will be in peace. Praise the Lord. Fourth is practice dominion. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. And God said, let us make men in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God wants you to have dominion. You cannot ask God come and take dominion. God said what? Don't, don't pass the ball in my court. It's your turn to hit it. It's you who have to take dominion. You have to take dominion. You cannot say, oh, somebody, should, somebody else should come and take dominion. You, God said, let us, make, let us make men in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. Let them have, not us. So God is not going to have the dominion. He gave you the responsibility to have dominion. Praise the Lord. They don't, they have not learned these things. And the first thing you start dominion from is from your own body. You start taking control of your own body. You start taking control of money. 
I tell people, if you can't control 100 rupees, how will you control 10,000 rupees? Hallelujah. So you have to take dominion. You have to take dominion. Don't think, oh, my salary, my salary, my salary. What about beyond salary? Have you taken dominion over money? Have you taken dominion over the, over the, circum over the environment you live? That whatever you say stands true. Praise the Lord. I practiced it during COVID. I loved it. That was the best time to exercise dominion. When they said no shop should be open, every shop in my area was open. I said, I said this is the best time to take dominion. To check myself, how much dom dominion I have taken. Am I right? Then they're stopping everybody. Everybody was coming to my house. When they said put mask, I said I will not put mask. I said this was the good time to check dominion. To learn how to fight. Praise the Lord. Yeah, that was good time. Some people missed that time. I did not miss. I kept exercising more dominion, more dominion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So practice dominion. So when you when you start feeling headache, don't say I have headache. Say go in the name of Jesus. When you think the money is not sufficient, you start calling money. You start from somewhere. When you go to ketchup bottle and the ketchup is not coming, don't say ketchup is finished. You say ketchup come. You start from somewhere. When you open rice box and there is no rice, you say rice come. You start from somewhere. Praise the Lord. If you don't start from anywhere, how it will happen? So practice it. Tell your neighbor, practice it. Practice it. Are you getting my point? I think several times it has happened. I've been looking for something and I say, come. And my angels will just bring it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've done it several times. So take dominion. Tell your neighbor, take, practice dominion. Fifth, practice keeping a perfect heart. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. He said, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Tell your neighbor, keep your heart. Protect your heart. And whose responsibility is to protect? Yours. So don't say, Lord, I cannot protect my heart. God said, protect it. So better protect it. Don't say, I cannot protect it. So when God is saying, protect your heart, it means he knows we have the ability to protect your heart. Don't say, devil entered my heart. So why you were not protecting your heart? Didn't you read the word, protect your heart? Don't listen to everybody and everything. Praise the Lord. Are you getting my point? Protect your heart. Don't just keep listening to bad news and allow everything to enter your heart. Praise the Lord. So I was, there was, there were some people who visited me long back. And then one person had a problem of demons. And the person started to explain that years back, I prayed for somebody. She had a demon. But after that time, I started, have the, I started to have the same problem. I said, from which Bible it happened? Then I asked, what happened? He said, no, somebody told me, if you pray for somebody having demon, demon can enter you. I said, that's the problem. You did not protect your heart. You allowed that wrong information to go into your heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So don't say, no, no, it's, it's just little, little bad information. Okay, how many drink tea? Do you drink tea? Milk? If I put two house fly, will you drink it? Just little, little, little one. And you're eating the food, lizard drop some little. Will you eat it? So why you want to enter some stupid thing? Allow them to enter your heart. Just little, we just little, little non veg joke. L little, little, what? Little, little. Keep your heart with all diligence. So nothing, nothing which should not be there should be there. Praise the Lord. Did you get my English? I said nothing which should not be there should be there. It is your responsibility. God said, keep your heart. Praise the Lord. You have to practice it. Sixth. Practice keeping godly company. Praise the Lord. Psalm chapter 1 verse 1. He said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of the sinner, nor sit, sitteth in the seat of the scornful. He said, Blessed is the man. So you can't keep the wrong company. Don't say, no, 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 no. Uh, he's my friend. Uh, he's, what? 
Didn't you read the Bible? Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of the sinner, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Got to be careful. And if this scripture did not convince you, I have another one. First Corinthians fifteen verse thirty-three. He said, "Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Evil company, evil companionship, evil friendship." He said, "Don't be deceived. Many have been deceived. Many have been deceived. They think no, it doesn't matter. I can make anybody friend. No, you cannot. You got to be careful whom you hang out with." Praise the Lord. Even psychology says you are the sum of the five friends you hang out with. You are the sum of five people you hang out with. So your friends, five friends, the your best friend. Just tell me the names of your five best friend and tell me your correct their character. I know your character because you are the sum addition of those five. You would have picked something from here, something from here, something from here, something from here, something from, and then your character would have been framed. framed or formed that's who you are you are the sum total of five people you spend most of the time most of your time praise the lord are you getting me so you got to be careful he say be not deceived evil communication corrupt good manners now what i told you is not bible i just told you psychology but i'm saying even in psychology they know it that's what i'm trying to communicate so what i'm saying be not deceived i'm just trying to strengthen the communication praise the lord be not deceived evil communications corrupt good manners and not only so no pastor i don't have bad friend but i i watch bad movies i say is company again is again company so don't say i'm not have don't have bad friend but i'm watching bad movies i'm i'm watching bad series i'm listening to bad songs is still the same company I'm watching wrong things. It's still the same company. But I've been saying, "Be not deceived." Tell your neighbor, "Be not deceived." Uh, Non-veg jokes, jokes on marriage. When your marriage will become joke, then you will know why you shouldn't have been joking about marriage. Praise the Lord. Because be not deceived. Many don't take things, you know. No, we should love everybody. Yes. we should love everybody we should pray for everybody but we should not move with everybody praise the lord this is a difference we cannot be moving with everybody hallelujah let's read the same in tpt so stop fooling yourself praise the lord <laughs> say stop fooling yourself evil companions will corrupt good morals and correct So I quite agree with the parents. Don't move with that boy. I quite agree with the parents, but children will not understand. They say, "Why, why? What is wrong? Something is wrong." You might not know it today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you with me? He says, "So stop fooling yourself. Evil companions will corrupt good morals and correct. Don't be deceived. So practice." good company praise the lord hallelujah you can't be shopping with anybody and everybody you can't be hanging out with anybody and everybody praise the lord and seventh for today practice giving praise the lord luke 638 give tell your neighbor give it means keep giving is a practice give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down and shaken together and running over shall man give into your bosom for with the same measure that ye meet with all it shall be measured to you again give so it's a practice giving is a practice if you don't give if you don't bring yourself into that practice one day you will stop giving praise the lord so you have to practice it i told you first time god told me to give 2000 I had two thousand. Next Sunday, I had one five. I said, "God, what do I do?" He said, "Add two shirts." Next Sunday, I had one thousand. I said, "Lord, what do I do?" He said, "Add two shoes." Next Sunday, I had five hundred. I said, "Lord, what do I do?" He said, "Add two your suits." From next Sunday, I started having two thousand till today. 
it was a practice so giving is a practice when i was in my church as a member if a project is happening god will say you have to give all the money i said okay i will give all the money so once you have practiced it the spirit of god can locate you the spirit of god can locate you and there is nothing better for god to locate you praise the lord the best thing to be located by god praise the lord did you hear me but god cannot locate somebody who is not a giver praise the lord hallelujah jesus is so highly exalted because he gave himself so practice giving he said give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down and shaken together running over shall men give into your bosom for with the same measure that you meet with all it shall be measured to you again you remember the story of the prodigal son this man had two sons am i right the younger one said father give me all my share i want to enjoy my life father said okay do what you want to do so father gave him a share and then he just you know he was a spendthrift he didn't know how to use money so he just misused money and then he came to a condition where he had to eat swine food swine food and look at his condition luke 15 16 very pathetic and he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat and no man gave unto him nobody gave him anything even a beggar get something this man got nothing bible is not saying that he did not go to anybody to ask bible is saying no man gave unto him it means he would have gone to people to ask bible say no man gave unto him nobody was moved to give him anything because he never gave to anybody we don't see that life if you read all the the whole story we never saw that he gave to somebody he only took from his father so that's why it is very important practice giving for your own future praise the lord for your own benefit practice giving and he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did it did eat and no man gave unto him let's go to luke 6:38 and this is where we leave give tell your neighbor give 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 praise the lord so lift your holy hands thank god for his love for his mercies for his grace so i hope you remember the seven point first is what practice the presence of god second is eternal life third is keeping your mind on the good things fourth is practice dominion fifth is keep your heart yeah keep your heart clean six days good company seventh is and pastor said if you just practice it for seven days from eighth day your life is taking a upward and forward move so i want all of you to practice and come back with testimony you will be so happy praise the lord you will be so happy you will be so happy that you did it for you because you will become what is spiritually fit praise the lord and it will help you we not read it it will help you it is a tonic so many things we read it so it will just help you you will be happy that this is the best decision you ever took for yourself praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so this is the time to give our tithes our offerings our partnership thank you Hallelujah Father in the name of Jesus 
And if you are watching online, don't forget to do that. I already said give. Bible says so, so you must give. Thank you, Father, for this opportunity to honor you with our substance. Thank you, Lord. As we have given according to your word, we receive the multiplied harvest according to your word. We invoke the power of blessing upon this offering. And we say that this offering is growing for the furtherance of the kingdom in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We trust that you have been blessed by today's broadcast. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus the Lord of your life by saying this prayer. Mean it with all your heart and God will hear you. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe God raised him from the dead and he is alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in his name, the name of Jesus, I receive remission of sins for my soul. I receive eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you for giving me a new life. I am born again. I am a child of God now. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you have just said this prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please call us now or visit our website. God bless you. Praise the Lord. So let's stand up on our feet, thank God, and share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, Amen. Surely His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' name, Amen. Cheer up. The word works. I told you that we're going to have a special reach out world day make sure that you are planning it's several months away but it takes a long time to plan to do something of this magnitude we will be taking rhapsody of realities to all the world rhapsody of realities everywhere every nation every city every town every hamlet the aircrafts the train the buses in the schools, in the highways, and the hedges. We want to make the Word of God available to everybody. And we're giving it to them in their language. The language they best understand. So plan for it and be a part of it. See, this is going to take billions of copies all over the world. Do it as big as you can. That's what I'll say to you. Do it as big as you can. How many copies can you sponsor? How many? That's up to you. You decide how many you're going to sponsor. But definitely, this is billions of copies around the world. We should be looking at no less than 10 billion from early readers. We have uh, for teenagers, we have for adults. Then we also have the Braille versions. This is going to be huge. More than half of that will be printed. And we have another half, of course, on the digital format. But you know, the digital format can always be multiplied. So that's not very difficult. But it's the printed one that takes quite some time. And that's why we're beginning now. Make sure you invest in the print copy. It's important because of evangelism. Very important. So let's do it. Let's do it for the Lord. And there are four key actions to take today and every day till that great and glorious day. One, pray every day. Join the formidable One Billion Minute Prayer March. Visit onebillionminute.mystreamspace.org to pray daily for 15 minutes, making every minute count for the souls of people and nations. 
to sponsor. Make copies of Rhapsody available in all languages and in all categories as you sponsor languages, sponsor street distribution, and sponsor the Reach Out World Day. Three, sign up. Be an active part of the largest global volunteer workforce for Reach Out World Day as you sign up to distribute, be a missionary, and take up numerous other services. Four, enlist. Get others to join in. Enlist friends, families, colleagues, institutions, organizations, and more to partner with us and send Rhapsody around the world. It's Rhapsody of Realities to the ends of the earth. For more information on Reach Out World Day, please call us now or visit www.reachoutworld.org.